Um, let me just begin by saying that uh, the governor's office, the governor uh, fully supports the four goals and priorities that were articulated by the state superintendent in his opening statement with regard to the academic um, uh, goals that we hope to achieve for students in our state. I had the opportunity to participate in a number of the board hearings and discussions as they crafted their budget priorities and made their decisions about how to allocate resources. And so it was extremely helpful as we considered uh, the overall budget for the governor. As the governor made his decisions and developed the budgets, uh, he had to take into account the overall priorities of the state in a number of different areas. And as education remains his priority, his main priority with respect to budget decisions, uh, in the proposal that he sent to the General Assembly for K through 12 education, he was recommending approximately 225 million additional dollars for allocation to the state board. Um, we discussed the changes, I discussed the changes with the state board, both Chris and, and Linda, as we were trying to make decisions about how to um, uh, set the budget levels for the state board for the State Board. I think there were uh, two, overall, the, the presentation that the governor made uh, did not allow for as extensive an increase in terms of funding allocations. However, um, we tried to craft decisions that would stay within the parameters of those four goals that the superintendent did articulate. Uh, I think there are two major areas of differences when you look at the presentation of the governor's budget as compared to the state board, and that is that the governor chose to focus um, additional resources for early childhood education. This has been one of his primary priorities um, since taking office, and so we chose to, uh, he chose to restore the level of funding for the early childhood block grants to the FY 2009 level. And with the additional funds that would be available, um, he shifted some of the dollars that were in the transportation mandate to the uh, general state aid formula and the overall increase in then in the general state aid formula turned out to be about half the level of what the um, state board had recommended. So this was primarily to provide the local school districts with as much flexibility as possible when they're making decisions about how to allocate local resources and, and how to use their operational um, dollars in making determinations of what was needed specifically in their, in their school district. So that's how we came to the numbers that the governor presented to the General Assembly and I'm happy to answer questions.